The National Institutes of Health say that nearly 1 in 12 kids between the ages of 3 and 17 have a disorder related to voice, speech, language, or swallowing. Tonight, KSNT News morning anchor Brittany Moore explains how a Topeka boy found his words through multiple therapy options at the Capra Foundation. Six and a half year old Jeremiah Cortez from Topeka went so long without words until he started speech therapy at the Capper Foundation. Jeremiah was uh, 16 months when I first noticed uh, that his speech was delayed. Um, we weren't using as many words as other kids his age were using. Didn't really understand a lot of the language concepts, um, and so it was really difficult for him to really. Um, participate in those age appropriate activities. When he was three and a half years old, Jeremiah was diagnosed with autism and a development disability. This qualified him for ABA or Applied Behavior Analysis Therapy. I look at their behaviors as in learning as well. So a child who has difficulty learning, it, it's the behaviors they show me that I then interpret to help them learn. So I work mainly with the parents, but I would have Jeremiah come in and uh, again, just talking to him, watching him play, I can interpret where his errors were being made. We benefited from it. Um, we were doing the same things that he was doing in speech with Lakin, sequencing and also took care of like home things. Um, biting his nails was a task that we were working on. Um, trying to sleep in his own bed. Those are all things that ABA covers. Between speech and ABA therapy, Jeremiah's communication skills have grown immensely. He is putting sentences together, telling lots of stories. He's done great um, so far and we're just hoping to keep progressing. Jeremiah is now in the first grade this year and we're told he's a teacher favorite for his social and communication skills in class. Brittany Moore, KSNT News.